So in section 2.4, we're exploring more angle properties in polygons. A polygon is any figure, okay, like this. We have a uh, triangle and uh, rectangle, a pentagon, and looks like a hexagon there. And so there are some more properties that hold true for all of these polygons. And with this chart right here, you copied out the number of sides and the number of diagonals from one of the vertices. So in the triangle, there's, there's no diagonal that connects to another point that's not already connected by a side, right? So this one, there's one diagonal that can be made. Here there's two and three and so on. So what I want to show you first is that um, some of you asked about the N. What does the N mean? Well, this is for any sided polygon, so an N-agon. So if it's eight sides or 12 sides or whatever. We're going to try and uh, explain a pattern here. So how many triangles, let's fill out this spot right here. How many triangles would there be in an anagon? What is the relationship here between those these numbers? Any observation there? Yeah? N minus two. Okay, good. N minus <coughs> two. Yes. So if you have five sides, you have three triangles that can be formed inside that. Okay, and so on. Six and four. So N minus two. All right, now take a look at... Um, the sum of the interior angles. We said in a triangle, all those add up to 180. And if this is a rectangle, these are all 90, right? And so if you add four 90s, then what happens? How many is that? 360, okay? In a pentagon, it's 540, hexagon is 720. So let's fill in this space now. What's the relationship uh, that we see there? Do you see any relationship <coughs> between maybe some of these numbers above and the, the number below? Anything there? Okay, I'll direct your attention to these pairs of numbers. What's our description here for that one? Yep. Okay, it's, it's the number of triangles times 180. That's exactly right. So this is 180 times n minus 2. Okay. So the sum of all the interior angles is 180 times n minus 2. So however many sides there are, it's 180 times 2 less than the number of sides. Okay. Now the sum of exterior angles, okay, we we found out here in the triangle from last class, right, that the exterior angles here all add up to. Am I doing that right? Yeah, all add up to 360. Okay, and if we extend these as well, we have four more. 90s, right? So that's 360 as well. As the angles get uh, bigger inside, the angles in the exterior get actually smaller, right? So if we extend all these, those angles are more, but they're smaller. And so what happens is the exterior angles here, 360, here 360, and it's so it actually that carries on. So the sum of all the exterior angles of any polygon is always the same number, and that's 360. So you want to jot that little note down there as well. The last little bit of notes here I'm going to give you for this lesson is for a regular polygon, and regular means that all sides and angles are equal or are congruent, the um, measure of each angle is evenly divided by the sum of the interior angles. So that's going to be, I'll just write with, with my pen, be a little bit easier, so 180 times n minus 2, that's all of the interior angles added up, and then divided by however many sides there are, and that's just going to be n right there. So if we take a look at these first two here, for a triangle that has all the same length of sides and everything, right, we're going to go 180 times, there's three sides, 180 times 1, divided by there's three sides, so 180 times 1 divided by 3 gives 60. Each angle is 60. That works. 180 times 4 minus 2, that's 180 times 2 is 360, divided by the number of sides 4 is going to be what? 360 divided by 4 is 90. Each angle is 90. Okay? And that continues on. Okay, so 
if we just zip back to the uh, text, I'll give you a chance to just finish that up real quick. And back to the text here for 2.4, if we go to the need to know there, we'll skip some of these examples. So you can prove properties of angles and polygons using other properties. We've already seen that. Here's a couple things you need to remember. The sum of the measures of interior angles of a convex polygon, and I'll talk about convex in one second, with n number of sides is this, 180 times n minus 2. The measure of each interior angle in a regular polygon, we just talked about that, is this. And the sum of the exterior angles uh, on a convex polygon is 360. So just really quickly, convex, I didn't talk about in this lesson here yet, but there's a little graphic here I'll just point you to. So this is a convex polygon, okay? So we don't have any corners that kind of dip in, right? Uh, do you know what I mean? So each interior angle is less than 180. This interior angle would be greater than 180 technically. So this is a concave polygon. A convex polygon follows this sort of format where each interior angle is definitely less than 180. Does that make sense? So that's a quick little lesson on 2.4 because we just had a short class here today. Um, and uh, so yeah, so feel free to look through the, the uh, textbook there for the examples when you come to questions in your assignment. Look through these examples. And I'll give you a assignment here in a sec. So 2.4, page 99, 1 to 4, 6, 7, 10, 16a is your assignment. And here is your, here's your text. Yep. So? I know. Yeah, I'm actually recording the textbook. So if you forget your textbook at home, you can just look up the video and pause the question and look at the question. Is it going to be on the YouTube video? Is it going to be on the YouTube video? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, YouTube. Hey, YouTube? I believe it's YouTube. YouTube. Because I'm the science core leader, and I get all those textbooks before the courses start. They ask me what I think. So, hey, do you like this? And I say no. How do you feel about so science? I feel like it's 